everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of advanced techniques that you can use inside of your Bohai Level account, or if you are one of my clients, it would be called the Titan. Um, anyhow, um, you can imagine a scenario where you have multiple salespeople in your office, and you have assigned a particular um, salespeople to a client. So, for example, in all of these records here, these users have been, uh, or these clients have been assigned to one of my users, Wendy. So up here is where the owner assignment is, and of course you could change these each individually. However, that is going to take some time. So I wanted to show you a fast way to move um, all of these assigned clients to another person in the event that like maybe Wendy leaves the organization or something like that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create a snap list. Um, and what I did here is I'm going to uncheck these and unselect all these records. It's going to refresh this so it pulls up new records here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these records. And what I want to do is I want to filter them by who the contact was assigned to. So I'm going to assigned, and I'm going to go assigned to, and then I'm going to select the person that is assigned to. I'm going to hit accept, and then I can save this as a smart list, and I can say when he needs to decide. Okay, so now that we have these contacts assigned to her, the second step is we need to go and create an automation so that we can easily take all of these contacts and push them over to the new person. So I'm going to go over here to automation, and I'm going to create a new workflow. I'm just going to call it contact uh, assign. So then um, here, what we're going to do is we're going to do the remove uh, assigned user. And then we're going to assign to user. Oh, sorry. Actually, we're not going to put this remove assign user. We're going to assign to user. So we're going to skip a step here. So assign to user. Let's just say I move it over to my name. And I'm not going to click this. It says only apply to unassigned contacts. We don't want to do that. We actually just want to take this list of contacts that we created in the smart list and push them over to this user. So we're going to do this. And then you're just going to save this. We're going to turn this workflow on. Save it again. Now what we're going to do, this trigger can stay empty. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back here to the list of contacts. And we're going to go to your smart list. which is Wendy's Assign Contacts. You're going to select all of them, select all 65 records. You're going to put them in this Add to Automation. You're going to say OK, proceed. You're going to go find the automation, which is um, contact reassigned from Wendy to Tina. And down here in action, you're just going to say reassigned contacts to Tina. So whatever you want to put here to make it make sense is what you want to do. And then you're just going to click this button, Add to Automation. Now, I'm not going to do this right now because I actually don't want to reassign all of these contacts to myself. But this is how you would go ahead and push those through. And then they're all going to move from Wendy to Tina. Hope this is helpful. Thank you.